All patient tubes and suction connections should be routinely checked to ensure proper leak-proof operation and chest tube patency. Like all atrium models, the OASIS 3600 single drain collection chamber incorporates a large writing surface with big bold numbers and easy to read fluid level graduations. Depending upon your hospital's preferred sampling technique, samples of drainage fluid can be taken directly from the patient tube by forming a temporary dependent loop and inserting a 20 gauge or smaller needle with syringe at a shallow angle. On selected models, samples can be taken directly from the needleless lure lock sampling port located on the patient tube connector. A water seal is a simple one-way valve which allows air to exit the chest and prevents air from returning to the patient under normal conditions. It's also a very useful diagnostic tool as it can show even the smallest trends of an air leak as well as changes in intrathoracic pressure. Assessing patient air leaks is easy with Atrium's blue tint water and graduated air leak monitor. Continuous bubbling observed in the water seal will confirm a persistent air leak in either the patient's thoracic cavity or possible tube connections. Intermittent bubbling with gentle float ball oscillation will confirm the presence of an intermittent air leak. And no bubbling with minimal float ball oscillation at the bottom of the water seal indicates that no air leak is present. Bubbling from right to left in the air leak monitor must be present to confirm an active air leak. The OASIS Graduated Air Leak Monitor allows visual detection of air leaks from a low volume of 1 to a larger air leak volume of 5. Air bubbles passing through the Graduated Air Leak Monitor help the clinician assess air leak patterns and patient air leak trends. Changes in intrathoracic pressure can be determined by observing the level of the blue tint water and float ball in the calibrated water seal column. Atrium's blue tint water and float ball make changes in patient pressure easy to monitor, even in low light conditions or from a distance. When monitoring a patient's chest drainage system, it's important to periodically check the water seal's operation and fluid level. If the water seal is either underfilled or overfilled, it should be adjusted accordingly to the prescribed maximum 2 centimeter level. Using a 20 gauge needle with syringe, adjust the water level via the grommet located on the back of the water seal chamber. In the event of an accidental knockover, upright the drain immediately and check all fluid levels. If required, the water seal level may be adjusted back to its original 2 centimeter level as previously demonstrated. If a knockover does occur, fluid drainage could potentially spill from one collection column to another. If this occurs, Gently tip the drain to the right to return fluid back to the correct column and then upright the drain. Most healthcare facilities routinely use suction for their patients as it helps improve the rate and flow of fluid drainage from the patient and out through the thoracic catheters. The patient tube slide clamp must remain open at all times during system operation. It's recommended to position the patient tube clamp next to the inline connector for setup convenience and routine visual check. The patient tube clamp can be removed if desired. Handling and disposal of a discarded chest drain and its contents should be in accordance with all applicable regulations and approved hospital infection control standards.